Ah, oh, what a palaver. Right, so hello everyone. Uh, so this is Creator in Residence number 10. We've done 10 of these. Cool, blimey. Uh, so we've done 10 of these and today we are going to be looking at retopology. Uh, we're going to, well, Curoi is going to be using 3D Studio Max, but basically the principles and the practices of retopology, what it is and how you use it and all that sort of good stuff. So, is your mic on? Yes, your mic is on. So, take it away, Kuroi. Yeah, hello everyone. Yeah, this is number 10. So time flies, right? It does 10, yeah. Yeah, so 10 weeks. I know, <laughs> and wow. We have some, some weeks to go as well. So yes. If you have some ideas what we could cover in the future, tell us. Is it should be 3D Studio or maybe we should jump on to, into Blender, but may, well, maybe uh, about this later. So yeah. yeah. As uh, just got mentioned that we are going to cover uh, retopology and um, topology in general. What is topology? So that's that's a good question, right? Mm -hmm. So everything you see, it's it's just a topology. The, the mesh here is just built uh, from um, squares, triangles. Let me just put on the statistics, as you can see, polygons, vertices. So all this combines into um, topology. And um, as you can see, well, the topology on the base mesh of uh, IMV avatar isn't that pretty, right? Yeah. Um, it could be a bit better, but maybe in the future there will be a change. So um, we are going to cover um, retopologizing mostly um, from uh, Marvel Designer because in Marvel Designer we can create uh, quite high poly meshes and um, well even if we try to create something low poly and when we import this mesh into our 3D Studio or Blender um, we probably need to uh, create or uh, change the topology of this mesh right because it's just it's not uh, optimized and um, too big mesh is just you know problem when you just want to weight this mesh or uh, even upload to IMVU because there is limit right at the moment um, it is uh, three megabytes in uh, studio when it comes to uh, garment yes file size so, yeah yeah the file size of course so you should bear that in mind so um let's just imp i created few um items so tops and bottoms just to show you um the basics of uh, topology and retopologizing uh, a mesh so let's just import um one mesh maybe we can start from um maybe yeah simple t-shirt let's just import a simple t-shirt Let's just name it one two and um, we are not going to uh, cover um, weighting so it doesn't have to be on the avatar at the moment so import another one and this is the same t-shirt but uh, this is high poly uh, match do you want to um, hide the grid the background grid yeah yeah, it's there we go. Easier. That's that's makes it easier to see, much easier. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, those are the same t-shirts uh, or shirts based on uh, the same pattern made in Marvel Designer. But this one has particle distance twenty, and this one th th that's uh, uh, already checked, I mean marked red, uh, has particle distance ten. So as you can see, the difference. As you can see oh there, uh just a just a quick um so yeah the the larger the number the less dense the mesh is that right in marvelous designer yes so so this is distance between uh particles right so right we have 20 so we have less particles we have 10 we have more partic particles because the distance is just Less right less. okay yes yeah, so that yeah, that's so what i got confused with last time when we were talking mm -hmm. about that yeah it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought uh, when I started learning uh, Marvel Designer, I was like, why are we lowering? A yes, because it's not number, it's the distance mm -hmm. between the particles, distance. right. Okay. Yeah, so you should bear that in mind. And yeah. in many cases, particle distance 20 
uh, should be enough for most or at least uh, some part of meshes uh, that you import to or want to create for INVU. Of course, if you want to create a lot of fields um, and different maybe poles, you could increase the particle distance to 10 or 15 maybe. Yeah. But um, you can select parts of the meshes that will just have the particle distance 10 or 20, uh, 15. You don't have to make this entire mesh like, like I did here. Right? So, yeah. um, so that, that's, that's important, of course. And what else can we say about the particle distance? I think that's all. Um, well, that, that that trans that, so um, f m marvelous designers' uh, way of referencing the mesh density is th through the use of particle distance. Mm -hmm. But what that actually means, or what that translates into, is mesh density. So that's how how many surfaces, how many faces, polygons. Yeah, you can check this on the screen. You see yes. 1,858. 1, 1, yeah. So this is the, the 20 and the 10 particle distance. Let me just select. And yeah, you can see 6, how large the number. Mm -hmm, 6,683 faces. So what, that's almost that's double. What was the original one? Uh, I think it's what it was one hundred. Well, well, yes, that's one, almost, almost triple. Thousand, yeah. yeah, it's almost yeah. triple. Triple uh, the amount of um, yeah uh, faces in this case. Yeah. So that's a huge number. Um, so yeah, and you, as you can see, when you import such mesh to um, let's say your three um, D Max, you can see that there are some areas that needs to be fixed before you just upload this mesh to Studio, and uh, you can compare this to the uh, high poly mesh. The amount of work is just doubled or tripled. As you can yes. see, you will have to just weld or uh, remove vertices from this geometry. Um, yeah, so that that's a lot of work, of course. Um, we will try to uh, focus on this one at the moment and show you how to do this by hand, of course, because uh, not always. The, I mean, there are applications and modifiers that do automatic uh, topology. Yeah. But um, well, um, if you make this, made this, make this by hand, it's just it's just better, right? Because you have full control yeah. on the uh, topology geometry of the mesh. Yeah. All right. So um, well, um, there is also uh, another way to just create topology. Maybe we'll try. To, I will try to show you. So let's go to. Um, let's just make this. Um, Editable poly, and let's go to freeform. Let me just select this one, and click on um, on this options. So as you can see, let me just oh yeah, I have full grid now. All right. So as you can see, we have a lot of options here, and you can create new topology based on this mesh, if you want, of course. And um, well, this is um, old way of doing topology, but still a lot of uh, professional studios do this and the, the, to do the, polo the topology this way, right? So um, it's very tedious, uh, time consuming, but, um, but it works, right? So let's just quickly try to uh, draw new topology based on this mesh. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. We, do we wouldn't have to do this in this case, but I will do, just try to show you. So let's just pick surface. So we are going to draw only on the surface of the mesh. And you can choose step build. And if you just hover the mouse over the step, step build, you will see all these uh, instructions how to create topology uh, while using this tool. So let's just try and draw new topology. Let's say you want to just reduce um, the topology greatly, so let's just uh, control shift and click in few places like this. And as you can see, it created a new topology, right? Mm. And you just continue adding the topology while holding your keyboard uh, shift and control. Let's just quickly, oh, 
wrong button. Let me just jump one more time. As you can see, or maybe it's quite hard to see this. So it's creating a, uh, it's essentially creating another mesh section of the mesh within the editable. Yeah. Right. So it just creates, oh yeah, I can show you now. As you can see, it created right. new uh, topology based on this uh, geometry of the avatar, I mean, of this t-shirt at the moment, as you see. Yeah. And you would need to repeat the steps for every piece of this uh, shirt. And as I said, it's time consuming. You have, of course, more tools uh, to make the work easier, at least a bit, but still it takes a lot and a lot, a lot of time. And uh, as I can, to be honest, I never used this uh, method of making topology because I think uh, when creating um, a mesh, um, you don't want, you don't have to create this mesh again from scratch, right? It's just uh, making your work over and over again. Uh, it's better to just to create the mesh from scratch without the uh, making the topology again. Mm. Uh, but we have Marvelous Designer, right? So the meshes are usually automatically uh, created there based on the patterns. If you haven't seen our uh, previous videos, live streams. Uh, you can check them out and see how uh, I create in Mar Marvelous Designer and how easy it is to create right mesh in in Marvelous Designer. So, um, but yeah, there are a few draw drawbacks as you can see a lot of topology and a lot of a lot of vertices that shouldn't be here or uh, sh could be just removed. So maybe we can focus on the first uh, method, um, maybe the second method this is, because I've already tried to show you the freeform method. So let's get back to modeling. And um, we are going just to remove the vertices by uh, selecting them, right clicking and welding. So target weld and just drag and drop when you see this dashed line. And as you can see, we are removing the topology from, I mean, in this case, vertices from the mesh. And you should, in, you will have to do everything by hand. Let me just quickly jump. Um, something disappears <laughs> here. So maybe I will change the viewport, which is applied too many changes there. All right. Target weld, let me just uh, select uh, mesh again and target weld. And just as you can see, it's gonna take a while to make all the mesh to create clean topology, right? But uh, this is quite low poly mesh. And um, imagine doing this yeah. for the second one. Mm -hmm. But let's just quickly try to do this on camera. Uh, just to show you that it doesn't have to take a lot of time. Oh, why is, is it disappearing? That's weird it doing that. Why it's doing that? Why is it? Maybe I will just reopen the file. You know? mm. Maybe because I had the avatar from the toolkit. Right. So I won't save it. Um, import. And it was simple. Oh, no, not high poly. Um, import again. Simple t shirt. Import. And where is our mesh here? All right, so let's try to uncheck this and hopefully it won't <laughs> disappear yes. at the moment. And we have to, of course, um, make this editable poly to weld vertices. So one more time, select drag and drop and just repeat all the steps as you can see. All right, now uh, it should work pretty good. So, I mean, as you can see, you have full control uh, which vertices you want to remove. Mm. Or you can, of course, add topology, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be like the re removing all the topology. Uh, sometimes you will have to create more topology to make the, the mesh look good, right? It doesn't have to be um, very low poly because you need some topology just to make the uh, avatar move with the with the shirt so target weld and 
let's just let's just finish at least the sleeve we are almost there all right and i think oh let's just let's just connect this one and i think that's all for this topology let's just connect this one should look a bit better how about this piece let's just connect this all right and maybe this one to this as as you can see we can add some topology so let me enlarge this one and maybe we can hide this all right and you can of course cut to add it's up to you which tools you prefer to use all right as you can see yeah we created some topology and um you can remove um, edges by clicking selecting edge clicking control and backspace as you can see it won't make a hole right if you you do this step by clicking delete it will just oh, the entire face. Right. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so it's creating controls, a it's creating a face or a polygon from the removed yeah right mm -hmm. so control and backspace will just uh, keep the face here but will remove the edge or if we have some uh, vertices it will be also removed all right so as you can see well we tried to create some topology here it's not that bad uh, not that bad i guess and um you would normally you would need to repeat the step for the second part right yeah, for the, yeah, uh, yeah right part of the shears but you can of course create symmetry as long as you have symmetrical mesh so um if you have a just plain t-shirt without folds you can do this by just making uh, selecting symmetry modifier let's just quickly jump to this and symmetry is here so as you can see mirror and let's flip this mm, modifier as you can see so we just made the, uh, create retopologized this mm. part of mesh and it it is applied to entire um, to the next part right so that to the right part in this case of the mesh so well it's something like a work 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 around but you will have to um weld or entire uv mapping yeah right? because it will just uh, copy yeah. the part of the uh, uv mapping onto another side and you will have to just do everything by hand well that's that's one way of doing this but what what can you do right in this in this yeah. case well there is another way of doing this but i'm us currently using uh, 3d studio max 2017 and this is this feature is not available in this max so we will skip i mean we will jump into uh, another version of 3d studio max in a second but i wanted to show you some freeform tool and um, yeah there is also topology tool here so you can draw topology and you can also i mean where was the optimize yes so this is the tool that will try um, to optimize uh, your mesh i mean it's not that good unless you are just very proficient at using this tool uh, let me just select the mesh maybe i can show you in few steps we will see if it's gonna work or not let me just open freeform again ah, too many clicks all right so we have surface is it this one no default okay so optimize if you just click here as you as you can see it tries to connect uh, the closest vertices and well on its own way it's trying to optimize your mesh right so as you can see the more clicks you make the less topology you get it's good in some cases but i think it's not that 
good tool when it comes to um, clothing, right? It creates a lot of triangles. And uh, when I create topology, when I create meshes, I just try to avoid. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of destructive. It is, it is. It's like, um, I think the blender has. Yeah, decimate. decimate. Yeah. Yeah, I tried, I played with this a um, few days ago and I was, oh, it's very similar. Um, and yeah, if you need to make uh, something very low poly, well, it could be, could be tool for you, but um, it destroys. And of course, mm. there are a lot of um, options here. So you can move vertex by dragging it, uh, remove edges, uh, remove edges ring and uh, edges loop. And of course, uh, vertex. So holding, let's say alt. As you can see, but yeah. As I said, it's not yeah. <laughs> not not a good that, way. That, yeah, that's that's pretty much what decimate does. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it may, it might be good when you create some kind of uh, I don't know, uh, furniture or uh, maybe a landscape. That should be could be good, right? If you create low poly landscape. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But not nothing that mi is mid poly or high poly. In, I think it's it's not it's very destructive as you said, and not for, not for IM viewer I guess unless you will find this useful somehow. All right, so maybe before we jump into the uh, 3D Studio Max 2021, um, let's let's cancel this one. I will try to import. Um, I prepared some meshes, so let's just import this one. Import. And let's just name it. Okay. Oh yeah, and good look mesh. using the mirror modifier <laughs> on that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I that's what I want to show you. <laughs> so this is neat import, and we will import this mesh into the three D Studio Max twenty twenty one, and try to use the magic modifier. All right. So, but I created also two versions of this. Oh no! But there you go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so th this is uh, this is uh, particle distance ten yeah. in uh, Marvel's designer, yeah. and this is particle distance twenty. Yeah, in Marvel's designer. I mean, it's not that bad, but you can see a yes. lot of draggy areas. Yeah, and um, I I want I think no no one will try to buy this <laughs> if you upload such mesh to IMVU. Oh yeah, I mean because once uh, I mean ideally what you would essentially do is once you once you've created the lower res version, you can always selectively edit the bits that you need to create the the detail mm -hmm. um you know so you yes it i mean it would be easier to do it that way it would be easier to f well in using marvelous designer to export a low res and then selectively edit the low res to accommodate yeah. those folds you can you can subdivide yeah uh, the mesh let's just let's just try to do this or um Sub, where is subdivide? Oh, why is it on the top? I don't know why. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and sub uh, symmetry, subdivide, okay. But it didn't change much, right? So you got just subdivision huh. here. But there is another uh, tool in modeling. Let's just turn on. Oh, I have to convert this to editable poly, of course. And now you have a lot of new options. Um, you can, I mean, there is a modifier for this. Uh, so you can smooth this one. And as you can see, and it's almost the same amount. Is it the same amount of vertex uh, polygons? Yeah, it looks this about is, the uh, same. Yeah. 13. And here we have, yeah, it's oh, 21. Right. So, so even it, this one is even more high poly. On this one, doesn't look oh. it. That's that's interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting, right? Mm. It should be sim very similar, but the difference, I guess, is I don't know where. Yeah, that that, that would be interesting to see where the the. Uh... That's that's kind of funny, actually. I mean, I you you have more. Uh, yeah. Geometry here, I guess. Maybe in in the trees. Mm. Who knows? Mm, interesting. All right, let's just return. 
I wanted to undo the change. Oh, yeah. Here we are. All right. So, um, well, yeah, you wouldn't use uh, symmetry here, right? So if you want to do the everything by hand, it will be very tedious. And, um, well, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I tried to do this in the past when uh, I didn't have the... Um, the retopology modifier in 3D Studio Max 2021 and above. So um, maybe we can quickly jump into this one because I think that's all when I, what I want to show you in this Studio Max, 3D Studio Max uh, 2017. Well, it's limited, right? Mm. And we still use this because we have the Cal 3D. Cal 3D, also. yeah. Yeah. All right. I think let's just close this one. So don't save. And um, there are few several, few <laughs> several external applications that will uh, make the topology for you. Uh, uh, today we are not going to cover them. I think I did. We show the instant meshes. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Uh, maybe if we still still have time, I will try to show you. Let's just uh, turn on Max 2021 in this case. And um, we will import both mes both meshes and both these uh, shears or, and try to uh, use the symmetry, not symmetry. Why I want to always say symmetry modifier. <laughs> I want to say uh, retopology modifier. Yes. Oh, that's not symmetry, that's a big difference. All right, so let's just close freeform. Come on. All right, let's just import a mesh. So this one was here. And OK, need one import. Let's just change the viewport. OK, I think we have flipped. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah. Didn't do that in the other one. And let's just import another one. So this one was very high poly, I, I think. And this one is low poly. Okay, let's just name this however we want. And let's just do modeling. Come on. Oh, I need to do editable poly and let's just move this aside all right i think we can go and we we can live with inverted uh axes yeah axes yeah it doesn't matter at no, 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 no. Uh, so all right so let's let's save the file if something crashes i wouldn't want to just do everything over and over yeah so save us and let's go to this folder and name it uh, Topo DNF. <clears throat> All right, so we have a very high poly mesh and low poly mesh. And now, okay, as you can see, we have some geometry that's falling apart from the mesh, right? Mm. Try to move it aside. All right. So we should, we, we need to clean this as well. So as you can see, this is another drawback from of the uh, Marvel's designer, right? So oh, those look like loose, loose edges yeah. and faces, right? Yeah. It's not well that I mean, you can before you start at doing every anything else, you can select this one and try to weld. Mm. It will try to weld every loose ver vertex uh, that's bounded to the mesh. Let's try it. As you can see, it's better now, right? Yeah. We don't have any loose vertices. We have some issues here, but that's not a big case. We could just uh, fix this later. All right, so we try to connect the vertices. Now, let's try to apply the um, uh, retopology modifier. So let's go and um, come on, remove this one. Really? OK. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first error of the day. Yeah, that's why I just saved the file. 
All right, let's do this again. It happens. All right, we are back. So actually, it doesn't take much time, right? To do this. Okay, and we need so we need to weld the vertices. No, we don't have to. All right, let's just save it. And let's search for retopology modifier. And where is it? It's retopology. All right, so click on it. As you can see, we have few options here to choose from. And uh, well, we can just modify them. So we can do reform, quadriflow, uh, quadri and instant mesh. Uh, as uh, far as I use this modifier, I usually go with reform because you can specify number of faces. So hmm. um, how many faces do we have here? Let's just check it. We have polygons. Yeah, 3400. Hmm. So maybe let's try to type face count for thousands right so uh, we will compute this in a second i usually choose regularize select to i mean increase to one because you will have more regular topology right and the rest could be just like it is and click compute as you can see we have quite nice topology, right? Isn't that bad? That's not that's not bad. Let me just return to modeling. Huh. And you can of course um, re repeat the step, uh, increase or decrease number of uh, faces. So let me just uh, uncheck this, and uh, you can see the original topology. Yeah. It's very jagged and. Uh, yeah. Uh, looks bad but now it looks way better right so really you would be you would be applying this to the high res so wouldn't you ordinarily mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and reduce I usually if apply this uh, topology uh, this retopology modifier i usually apply this to high poly mesh right because yeah you have more 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 details yeah more geometry that yeah. the modifier can use and create the, topo the the great topology that you yeah. would be satisfied with. We will try to do this with this in a second. But as you can see, well, you can create something from low poly, right? Yeah. As well, you can increase the number, let's say 8,000. Compute. And yeah, it, it just increases number of uh, vertices, uh, faces in this case. All right, so let's just uh, jump to high poly mesh and I will try to move this aside yeah so the thing with the, the, the issue with using the the low poly is that it has to interpret the density of the mesh mm -hmm. which doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to clean up those yeah. the folds for example on this particular mm -hmm. thing so it works okay on the body the torso but those areas where the folds are much finer yeah it still doesn't see. quite you can you can try to let's just collapse this one so this is just applying and you can go with um relax well, right. you just click relax a few times and it, it looks better right this yeah at least a bit better yeah let me just apply a uh, pudding groups yeah so as you can see oh yeah so it looks better right yeah totally better of course you can you could uh well let's say work a bit on it and it would would look quite good mm. but yeah it's up to you which one you to use i usually go with high poly mesh and then just try to redu reduce the topology and greatly so let's try to do this with the high poly mesh as you can see we don't have any oh maybe we have few loose uh, uh, faces here 
right? Maybe polygons. So let's just weld them one more time. Weld. All right, and yeah, it should be fine now. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Let's just save. All right, so let's try to apply topology or retopology in this case, and let's go with maybe four K. And let's just oh, let me just deselect this one and apply this grid or mesh in this case. All right, so let's type one in regularize and try to compute this. And it will take a while. And to be honest, I hope it's gonna fail. No, it's, it, didn't, it didn't fail, but because I wanted to show you something, but maybe later. All right, but as you can see, it's not enough, right? When that's interesting to though because that's 4000 faces mm -hmm. but that's and lost still, detail compared to the other one and still you lost a lot of detail yeah that's yeah. very interesting so let's go with five let's just wait a second oh yeah it looks better so 1k makes a big difference uh, between those um, topologies. Um, you can of course slice the meshes right in few places and then topo retopology let's say sleeves and then torso but I think it would just take the entire day to connect everything. Right and, yes. Um, let's just check something because I think in Max 2021 the topology I mean the UV mapping is destroyed by this yes in the newer versions in 2023, I think, uh, the UV mapping is preserved as far as I remember. Uh, yeah, materials ID, no. So you, you can't preserve UV mapping here. So it, it will just destroy your UV mapping, but I think, well, making a new UV mapping in Max is not that hard. So I don't know how it uh, works in Blender. Is it a tedious job to create new UV mapping for such mesh? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, for fun functionally for IMVU, yeah, it's it, you, if you destroy the mesh, essentially you, you'd have to redo the, the UV map. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, well, you can't have everything, right? No. I mean, as I said, in the latest version of 3D Studio Max, the UV mapping should be preserved. So, mm. well, I don't have it. So, <laughs> don't. Uh, <laughs> mm. You will have to just check it on your own. Does it apply like this? All right. So, let's just um, relax this one at least once. Once. And as you can see, well, this one looks quite nice, right? It's not that bad. And um, it's uh, 5,105 um, polygons. Is that? The, oh, that's the second. That's the high poly. Hi, mm -hmm. Right. It's the okay. high poly. I, I deleted the, the, the scarf. Ah. Uh. So maybe let's just return it in a second. All right. Yeah. I think because the top topology is just destroyed this. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. So yeah. It would need a few additional touches. All right, let's just relax this. All right. And scroll in and apply smoothing groups one more time. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, this part would need to be um, maybe detached and um, topo retopologized. Uh, Separately, as, as yeah. On, yeah, on its own. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I would try to maybe do this. Let's just remove everything. You can see, all right. Oh, this is just uh, welded into the neck. neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, you can, can we detach this one? Oh, we can cut. Oh, yeah, detach over here. So as a separate mesh. And we can. Uh, 
we apologize this just on its own. So um, we right apologize. because if it's got the if you've got the retopology on the overall thing, the whole the whole mesh, it's yeah. going to selectively essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I I assume that in uh, the latest version of 3D Studio Max that the modifier works w better because. Uh, the retopology modifier was introduced in this version, so 2021 is first version of 3D Studio Max right. that has a retopology tool uh, natively supported. Right. So um, yeah, as I said, I can only imagine that it works way way better in in the latest one. Yeah. All right. So let's just try to compute this one, as you can see. But I think that's <laughs> that's too dense. In this case, let's just lower it to 2K. Now, did it compute? Probably yes, even if that's that's too much. All right, yeah, this one should be better. So let's just collapse and um, relax this one a few times. You can just manually um, modify this topology and geometry of this mesh, but it, it looks better, right? So yeah, not, it's not that bad in this case. So as you can see, uh, it's worth using uh, 3D Studio Max uh, retopology tool as it just helps you and saves you a lot of time. I will try to um, show you one thing that that's in the 3D Studio Max 2021, uh, the drawback of this modifier. I'm not sure if I have uh, created mesh that will have um, non-minefold geometry oh yes the curse yes so this is the curse of this modifier in 3d studio max at least 2021 as i said i don't know about the latest ones is it fixed or not so um not this one i think i think the hoodie should have the problems so let's just import and check it right not sure. Let let's try to retopology in this. Let's try it out of the box. So um, retopology, and let's just leave everything as this as it is, except the uh, regularize as one. So compute. And let's just hope it's going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it takes time, so maybe it's it will fail. You, you can see at the bottom, it's computing the retopology for element 1 of 7. Oh, right. And 78% 78, 78 complete. So, of course, you can cancel this. Um, Press escape to time. eject. Yeah. Okay, you can see it failed. Yeah. Uh, because, um, okay, this is e POT optimized files. So it sometimes writes something like the mm, non manifold geometry is here. So what's non manifold geometry? That's the question, right? Yeah. Um, I prefer something that will be just uh, easier to explain. So uh, that's how the non manifold geometry looks like. As you can see, we got the vertex, vertex here, or uh, edge, or face. So all three cases can be non-mainfold geometry, and they are just uh, badly placed, uh, well, geometry elements on our mesh, right? So as mm. you can see, this this edge shouldn't be here. I mean, shouldn't be created like on the plane, right? The vert vertices shouldn't be connected like this, and also faces, right? They sh the faces shouldn't shouldn't be here at all. Yeah, shouldn't typically that's that's the one that typically happens is the, mm -hmm. the inside faces. Yeah, so uh, you always have to check if you have your um, normals faced correctly. Um, if you have uh, normals uh, facing well uh, outside, mm. so. It, you you will see that you have too many shared faces or not, and so on the right side you can see the correct 
uh, way of uh, well geometry how it should be should be done so as you can see this edge doesn't exist here because we have uh, more geometry right we have normal uh, cube in this case nor not without shared uh, faces so well it happens when you create uh, unfortunately it happens when you create in marvel designer because uh, as we said before you have a lot of uh, spare unused vertices uh, edges well maybe not in this in this case uh, uh, elements right mm. uh, we've had this uh, the shared faces maybe not in marvel of designer but mostly you will have um, i think vertices and edges so as you can see probably some of them are just non main fold well this one probably is non main fold right yeah uh, what what else can we can we find something let's just look deeper inside <laughs> the mesh and um i'm not sure if i can find an example here yeah it doesn't look as if there's going to be any manifold non manifold faces or yeah. edges it looks like most of that's going to be issues with your vertices you you can also well few ways to fix this you if if those are just edges i mean vertices try to weld them right so mm -hmm. right click weld and you can repeat the step so retopology again let's just jump there and where is my modifier i should make it as favorite it would save time right let's just type one compute and yeah and it works mm. as you can see so in this case it wasn't main fault geometry it was probably uh, this iop error so some kind of um i don't know too many vertices in one place or something like this hard to tell but when you have the mo non main fault geometry error while retopologizing your mesh try to go try to of course first weld everything and go to modifier list and uh, go to uh, subdivide right so you're reducing everything that. down into triangles mm -hmm. try to subdivide you can collapse everything and well, let's just make this an uh, editable poly again. And go t if you still have problems with this one, go to a uh, border, select, oh, sorry, <laughs> select everything, so drag and drop, and check if you have something like this. Right. Yeah. Uh, search for areas that may be problematic. Uh, you will have to fix them by hand before retopologizing usually there aren't many areas you can always deselect your um your loops uh, your borders sorry and you will see let me just repeat the step here and as you can see there is probably only one here because we have the the gizmo here mm. it points here so you can click on it as you can see it's probably used i mean loose polygon right yeah it's not even welded mm. so delete this one and you can of course create new by just um selecting border select this hole and cap right it should create new face for this one and it should be a uh, part of the mesh of course you will just retopologize the mesh in a second so i just select mm, retopology and uh, regularize, <coughs> sorry, compute. And it's gonna take a while or fail, we will see. So let's wait a second. Of course, the higher face count, the more time it takes. Mm. So, okay, so we have optimization failed. So maybe I didn't weld all the vertices. Let me repeat the step. And retopology. One more time, compute. compute I mean, the thing so is, is that um, even though you have this retopology, it's still not 
you know, drag and drop problem solved. No. You no, know, you still have to do quite a bit of tidying up and checking of your mesh before you can actually start using the retopology properly. Yeah, it just, uh, as you can see, it failed again because we just did too many, mm -hmm. uh, too many changes, I guess. Um, we didn't have to do the... Uh, what did we do? We didn't have to do subdivision because mm -hmm. it worked before. So, um, yeah. So if it works, don't make too many changes. Mm. And I think we have loose geometry here as well. Mm. Yeah, so probably this one was causing the issue. So I think that's the main fault geometry. Yes, you can see this one. Yeah. Okay, let's just delete it. All right. And oh, as, as you can see, yeah, so we have another ver vertex here. Mm. Poking out of the <laughs> mm. oh yeah this is the this is the problem that's causing the issue so yeah you have to go manually as you said and um well adjust and spend some time on it so it should i think it should work better when you use uh, 3d studio max 2023 and um well there are some external um and paid uh applications uh, modifiers i know there are some uh, external application for blender as well to retopology. yes retopo yeah i think it's called re re retopo flow or something for blender yeah yeah, yeah. so that they are of course paid so mm. um well it's up to you if you want to spend your um, money on additional uh, plugins and well, they might be worth it, right? Because time is money. But there is a instance meshes. Let me just quickly try to find this one. I don't have this on my laptop, so I will try to download this one. This is the icon for the instant meshes. Oh yes. And what it does, it just this <coughs> is also plugin for um, Blender. You can use it standalone. And you can use it as a plugin for Blender, I guess. Oh. As far as, as, far as I, I remember, I'm not sure, but it should be. Oh, this is the icon. Where can I download this one? Go to file. Is it this one? No. Okay, video project. Uh, okay, pre-compiled window. Yeah. I will try to just quickly show you how it works. And that, I think, we will just sum up everything. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's safe on desktop. Okay, instant meshes. And this is only one file. So it's only three megs, three mm -hmm. and a half, right? Yeah, but it, this is quite <coughs> outdated. I think it wasn't updated lately. It, when was it updated? Let's just check. And the last update was. So oh wow five years ago yeah, yeah so it's quite outdated yeah but it somehow does the job so let's just import um maybe we can import the the hoodie let's let's check it out what what can we do with right so you can go to advanced and mesh way wireframe mm -hmm. and as you as you saw we have we had problems in mm. studio with this geometry yeah so we will see so okay i want to al align to boundaries so it won't go beyond the geometry won't go beyond yeah our boundaries and um this is a vertex count so let's just increase this one probably to uh, maybe 5k okay so this is as uh, it says insufficient resolution but we will try and um well, there are a few options here. Let me just close this. Can I close this one? Okay. Um, you can, okay, let's solve this. And as you can see, we have uh, the direction right. of uh, topology, yeah. where it goes, right? Yeah. So we can also help this application and draw. You just click, drag. As you can see, you can draw the topology where it should go. It, you are just literar literally helping the, the application to create the topology for your mesh oh, as yeah you can see. well it's it's fine here but just trying to show you as you can modify 
you want, of course, those creases go here. Maybe you you want some folds here. All right, and if you are satisfied, click on the solve and then export mesh. And uh, you, you usually want to go with pure quad mesh, right? Yeah, or as best okay, as possible, yeah. Yeah, of course. And you can uh, smooth the, I mean, increase the iteration of smoothing, but in this case, we don't want to. So click extract mesh, as you can see. Well, it didn't work as we wanted, right? It just broke mm. our mesh in several places. So, um, as I said, maybe it it just unchecked this one. Not sure. Let's try this again. Okay, can I solve this? Export. All right. Yeah, it looks better a bit, mm. but it's not perfect, right? So, well, this one is al also far from being perfect. Oh, so yeah. Well, it's, have to choose which one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like like we were saying earlier, that there isn't a there isn't a quick way to do this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, it is something that you should be doing, optimizing your meshes. Yeah. But using retopology isn't necessarily the the uh, one stop shop to. Yeah. So while designing your uh, outfit or garment in Marvel's Designer, keep in mind how much time you will have to spend in uh, mm. Blender or 3D Studio fixing the topology, right? Yeah. So start from yeah. scratch and think, have always topology in mind. Um, how far can you go? How much can you optimize the mesh in Marvel's Designer? Because there is a tool to um, create topology or retopology the mesh. Yeah. But it's it's also far from perfect. So Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing as well. Is that it's not just the mesh. It's the UV maps as well. That um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, I guess, um, but you can create, I think, almost perfect topology. Mm. You just import the last one. Uh, I wanted to show, and it was just pants. So import trousers and blah, blah, number. All right, so as you can see, and I think the topology of this, this is untouched topology from Marvel's designer. Mm. And I think topology is almost, almost close to perfect, right? Mm. You would need to just make few changes here. Mm. It would take like two minutes, mm -hmm. and um, it you won't destroy your UV mapping, and you are done. Of, of course, you can always um, let's say remove some parts. Oh, let's just make this um, additive poly, and select. Of course, if you don't want some topology, just remove, mm. or you can create new, right? So yeah. a few clicks. And you have a new topology like this. So, yeah, this is quite well optimized <laughs> mesh, but uh, it doesn't always happen, right? Yeah. So depends on your on your garment, right? Yeah. The more folds, the more wrin wrinkles and uh, curves, the yeah. more problem problems in the future. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and I think that covers most of the um, well optimizing, retopologizing your um, creations from Marvelous Designer. Yeah, in th oh, in three yeah. D Studio Max. Of course, yes. Mm. I imagine that in Blender there are different tools and different ways. Yeah, well, but, uh, I mean, the principles are basically the same. It's just that um, mm -hmm. you know it, you you still have to do what you're doing now with the cleanup. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe readjusting the topology, the original top. So that's the structure of the mesh as it comes from Marvelous or whatever application you might be using. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, you know, like we said, there isn't a quick way of doing this, especially if you're using Marvelous or something that's creating high resolution meshes. Yeah. So, you know, you save time, but you will have to just um, yes. sacrifice more time in the future. Yeah. But of course, the effects, well, it would you, it would take days to create, uh, let's say, this uh, part. Yes. In yeah. this mesh, the entire mesh, right? Yeah. So it's it's better to create yeah. new topology. I mean, recreate topology or uh, retopologize the mesh, uh, fix it by hand, than create it 
creating all the folds yes. and the wrinkles. Yeah. So yeah, there is uh, some advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, I mean, you you save time folds. with the modeling. You save time with the modeling of the folds mm -hmm. and and all of that sort of stuff, but you lose mm -hmm. time with the mesh prep and cleanup. Yes. Yeah. But oh uh, well, that's that's our job, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or just passion. It, it yeah. depends. So, uh, what do you do in in life? But um, well. We do it. We we do what we love. So mm -hmm. there is no room to just uh, keep uh, I don't know saying bad things. Just do your job and well, be happy that we at least have something like retopology and of course Marvel mm -hmm. Designer, which is which is very very help helpful uh, in creating garments. Mm -hmm. All right, is that it? And that's covers, yeah. Everything yep. we wanted, I wanted to show you today. Perfect. Well, that's um, that was pretty interesting seeing that. So I guess next week, what we might look at is how you retopologize in Marvelous, because I think you mentioned that you can do that in Marvelous. Yes. Yeah. It's limited, but but you yeah. can do you can do this one. Yeah. So we'll take a look at that next week. So that'll be number eleven. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much for that, um, Kuroi. Thank you very uh, much for your attention. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very interesting. And it's, I, I think it's technical, right? More advanced. It uh, is, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, sooner, yeah. Sooner or later, you will have to just dive into, um, to optimize. Yeah, if you're using, if you're using marvelous designer to do anything, you are generally speaking going to need to do this at some point. Mm -hmm. Because you can't really be, I mean, particularly with studio, you can't really be pushing what, how many res, how many polygons was, is that one? Uh, which one? The, well, the well, how, or? how many polygons are both of them actually together? Oh, together. Oh, that's uh, 15,000. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't really push 16,000 plus. I think any anything is it five k anything over five k and Studio will throw up an error message at you, and say that your mesh is too detailed or too many faces or something. It might. It might. So you know. But yeah, optimize, optimize, and one yeah. more time, try to optimize because I mean you can create you know very nice detailed mesh mm. Mm. but uh, it will take time to load it right yeah bear that in mind that on, not only people on computers laptops use uh, studio i mean uh, i view but also people on the mobiles right yes I mean, it's in it's more popular on mobiles at the moment yes that's why we have so many changes we have studio so it takes time to just uh, download the mesh the all the data right yeah and compute it well yeah that's the other reason why you want to optimize is because every, every you know if you have a, a um a structurally dense mesh that's going to add to your file size so in studio that's three megabytes and most of that will be your textures yeah but you know if you are if you are using highly dense meshes that will soon add up so it's always a good idea to try and optimize as best as you can yes so yeah right. right okay then that was uh very interesting um so we'll call it quits there that's that's about an hour which is about the average and uh we shall look at marvelous designer next next week, next week and see you know what shenanigans that will course yeah we will see <laughs> yeah so thanks very much narcissistic and flying flying goat man and all the lurkers lurking and anyone that watches this after the fact in the archive um and we shall see you on the next creator in residence next week so yeah bye for now thank you bye bye